dear viewers welcome back to school of civil engineering with a new video of a start rcdc so in our previous lecture i have just shown you that how we'll create our output file from i mean how we'll export file from etabs okay and in our previous some several video um, there have many problem when i mean you will may face many problem when you will import file from etabs to a start rcdc okay so uh, i have just provided solution for all of that problem in the description so if you want to watch that link are given in description and uh, from that playlist you will be able to watch or you will be able to find all of your solution of problem so um, from that lecture I mean in this lecture I'm just going to design beam okay so how will just design a beam so to design beam what I'll do I'll just first of all you have to give a project name I'm just ignoring simply giving anything here okay and from here you have to select the code for which code you want to design so i will use btis standard and you can use any code bs aci uh, is india standard or okay, btis standard and american concrete institute here united uh, nations so there have many types of uh, code available so what will i i'll do just After that, uh, after providing the data, I'll just go here to select our file. So here is the exported file from our etabs. Okay, project. Um, in my previous lecture, I have just shown you about that. So here is the file projected file, and see this file is total file size is two on seven MB. So uh, how to import that file? I mean, how to export that file from etabs perfectly without any problem? Till state RCDC that video are given in description okay so when you will import if you face any problem that solution are given in my video part by part okay so and also if you face a problem then you can uh, comment me I'll try to create new video on it okay so when it's done after that I'll click open uh, sorry I'll select here and after that I'll click open so it's okay now uh, in this lecture I'm just going to design beam so I'll click here for beam now for which floor I want to design so I will uh, show you for one story okay and you will design for your different story so I am just selecting for story 1 okay story 1 not ground floor I am just using story 1 for beam design and after that after providing all of that data I will simply click here create new project after that uh, it will open that file and when you come here you may you can face some problem like uh, the beam force are missing or something something then uh, go to my playlist and I have just provided the solution video on it okay so when we are here just see this is the beam and column layout this is the beam and column layout for our structure okay this is the beam and column layout for our structure that are available here right that are available here and also you are seeing the size of uh, beam okay this is the length of beam this is the uh, width of beam and this is the depth of beam and here the beam what is the uh, number of beam here it's given okay for s3 1 b1 b2 actually sorry uh, for grid 1 okay this is the b1 and when you will click here you will uh, see the selected beam will show in red and the uh, specific selected will show in that color so if you just if you go to then see it will change so anywhere you will select just see like that okay so um, for every beam you are seeing that for every beam here okay for every beam you are uh, seeing that our uh, beam are being selected okay so after selecting our beam what will do actually I'll just go to here setting then general and reinforcement setting so first of all we have to change here now they have many thing okay, they have many thing then uh, it's telling us design setting ignore torsion okay ignore torsion so do you want to ignore torsion or not so I just I don't want to ignore torsion okay I will not ignore torsion because uh, I have designed my structure for torsion that's why I'll not ignore torsion and uh, they have 
I think the details uh, detailing setting uh, setting is a top detailing style what will be the best fit and also that will be best fit and minimum percentage of steel minimum uh, 0 0.13 percent and maximum 4 percent it's okay okay and here uh, crack with check so if you want to uh, crack check then you can select that so i'll not use crack check so i'll just yeah, stop that and uh, here the grade of concrete what is the grade of concrete my uh, concrete grade is i'm selecting that actually you have to select it uh, as per your requirement what is the grid of concrete so i'm just uh, selecting here it's 30 it's okay then steel grade what will be the grade of steel it's four on five so i'm selecting uh, i mean my steel i'm using here that is 60 ksi and also uh, the four on five megapascal that is same so clear cover 25 millimeter or anything so what will be the clear cover of beam so uh, it will be 1.5 inch okay clear cover will be 1.5 inch so i'm just considering uh, almost 40 i'm just considering 40 okay uh, 40 mm and maximum um, aggregate size maximum aggregate size how to be the maximum is 25 it's okay or you can uh, one inch that's okay maximum aggregate size one inch uh, okay and here you are seeing that different uh, types of bar we have selected now the main is still okay main is still lever what will be the main is still lever so our main is still lever i will start from 12 to 16 okay 12 to 16 or i mean uh, here i have ignored 13 and 14 because in my country this bar size are not available so 12 and 16 also available in that range so i will use uh, 12 to 16 and for shared steel lever, I mean for our steel up, what will be the bar size? I will use 10 to 12. So 10 to 12. Okay. And side, side reinforcement, what will be the side reinforcement if required? So that will be 10 to 16. Okay. And uh, minimum spacing, steel up spacing. What will be the minimum spacing? So this is the minimum spacing here given 100 mm. That means uh, 4 inch. So I will just use here. 3 inch 75 and the maximum spacing here 6 inch okay maximum spacing it's giving 6 inch but i will consider our maximum spacing will be 8 inch that that means sorry uh, 8 inch that okay it's okay it's here uh, it's given also uh, almost more so 300 millimeter it's okay so when it's okay then i'll just click okay right after that i will again go setting then river curtailment so this is the this is the important part of our design so from here you have to select as per your design code okay as per your design code you have to select uh, like top still curtailment location here uh, in support for in support for continuous support and here bottom is still curtailment so l by six uh, L by 4, L by 4. Here uh, everything is given, so you have to change that as per your design code. I am not going to change that uh, now. And the factor of length here also given. So if you need, you can change that. Then I will click OK. I will not change anything. So from here, when it is done, then detailing and drawing seating. So I will just uh, use that option later. Okay. So detailing and drawing setting. So for that, I will just come here for detailing and drawing setting and from here you have to change that as per your requirement so when i will create a video for detailing then i will show you about that perfectly so i'll just cancel okay and after that when that two is done okay prefer it bar spacing so here you can select that i'll just ignore that after that you can click here auto design for auto design you can click here so i'm just clicking here and from here you have to you have to define your data okay, you have to define your data here so what will do actually uh, from here first of all load type which types of load this is dead load then floor finish also dead load then uh, uh, live load rope this is the rope live load rope and for live load floor this is the break live load and partitional also also dead load and earthquake x1 
so this is uh, for earthquake x direction and earthquake x2 this is also earthquake x direction and earthquake x this is an earthquake y so what will be the y not y it will be x uh, sorry z it will be z okay in a state uh, y will be replaced by z so also z and this is also z then uh, w uh, wx i mean we will not in x direction so what will be that value uh, wx then wx similarly wx wx actually uh, there have many value of will not so i'm just selecting here wx same way you have to uh, done that for wx and also for uh, wx it's use so it's wx after that for wy i will select w z same w z w z w z okay almost done after that simply select okay after that simply select here right and click here to import so to select and uh, here we have selected after that i just click ok all right and uh, i'll just click here add from analysis so from analysis i'll select all of our load combinations to so see here all of our load combination that are available so what will do actually right what will do every time if i try to select that that it will take some time so i'll just export load case and combinations as i am using same same value for every structure okay as i'm using so i'll just simply click here and uh, for rcbc i'll just load case i'll just select here okay uh, i mean i'll save that file here by saving here so save i have just save that file and in next when i'll create next video then i'll just directly import that file without selecting that data many times after that i'll click ok and i have to wait for some time to design so wait for some time it will take some time so it's done uh, we have successfully designed our wall beam so if you see here this is for G1 and B1 so it's are telling us for uh, bottom left we record 3 uh, 12 mm bar and for bottom middle we record 2 12 mm bar and bottom right we record 2 mm bar so uh, here maybe it will not be clear okay maybe it, it will not be clear so for for that what we'll do actually you can uh, save that table okay you can save that table if you need otherwise what we'll do actually i'll just go for detailing so what will go for detailing here by uh, clicking report okay so just see elevation and section so by clicking here we are able to create our by also if you come here so at modify so directly i'll just go here a report so if you want that table report then you can uh, text schedule you can use my um, i mean if you need that schedule then you can use text schedule otherwise i'll just go elevation and section so i'll click here and i'll select wall okay and from here drawing and detailing as i have shown you in previous you have to change here some data as per your requirements so you you will just uh, watch that data carefully i mean you will read that every session carefully and I'll not make any change here. I'll just click OK. So here, wall beam I have selected, and what you need to see: the elevation, cross section, and cross beam. So I'll just use both of it, and uh, mark anchorage and show section mark. So I'll select overall all data, then I'll click OK.
okay after that it will again take some time and it will create our create a perfect detailing for our all of our beam okay so i hope um, you will wait so see we have just done that so if i just come here for that detailing Yes, see, this is the uh, detailing of our. This is the detailing for our beam. Okay, so for which beam actually? You'll see here, this is the detailing for our beam. Okay, and uh, this is the B27 and B28. Okay, if you just go here and sorry. Here, um, what is the B27? So just come here. That, that is the B27 and B28. So for that beam, okay, so I'll just so here, right? And here uh, you are seeing that where lap will create, okay, and where we have to uh, provide a reinforcement, how much this is given here. So I hope uh, you will understand about that where uh, how much reinforcement we have to use. But the most important thing is just see the section, just see the section here. All of that section are available perfectly with the section one on section two to section three three. So all of our section are available here perfectly. Okay, just see it is available perfectly. And also if you just come here for sec, I mean uh, for uh, B28 also here here is for our uh, middle section and all of that section here available so um and just see just like us how we create in autocad that section are available here and has the width and here is the height of our beam so in this way you are able to design your beam and uh, also you can provide that data to your client directly so uh, actually how will process that data from rcdc i'll just create another video on it okay and how will uh, import that file to our autocad also i'll create video on it so if i also see here for that section so they have five section you know the five section and all of our section it's giving here here we record 25 2 leg 10 mm from that point to that point we record 25 okay 25 10 mm bar at the rate of or we record a, a 10 a 10 mm bar for our history up at the rate of 165 inch center to center clear so this is the data and also in here everything are detail here so if you want to change the reinforcement size again you have to just go here setting then general arrangement from here you have to provide the more which versus you want to prefer then again you have to just come here okay and also in that side you just get your detailing so here is your detailing so here the 16 mm bar required 16 mm bar required for um, 360 mm bar required and for site we record 12 12 mm side bar required in uh, both sides okay and uh, here also we record this is actually this uh, the bar and also in bottom we record 12 mm bar and 3 bar we record so in this way you are able to understand about that detailing okay here wall detailing and available so I hope uh, it's okay and If you think that that is helpful for you then obviously stay with us and obviously like our channel i hope um, it will be helpful for you and thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video